Welcome today to be inspired, motivated and uplifted by God's Word. Prayer is one of the powerful weapons that the Lord has given to us. Knowing how to pray is not easy. The desire to get more of the Lord in life is always the driving force. You have known God to some extent, but you want to know more again because the little you have known is not enough to satisfy your wanting God. You want to pray because you want the touch of the Lord. You want to feed your curiosity and fill your soul in the powers you will generate from the presence of the Lord. The words of the Lord say they grow from strength to strength that appears before him in Zion. There are powers and confidence in the prayers you make, especially when you're not praying for a need or the desires of your physical satisfaction. But you're praying because you want to know more of the Lord. The fasting exercise in Christian life is a great exercise of growth and advancement that subject the body to the torture by abstaining from the pleasure of food, drinking and other physical liberties. You have the fear of the Lord and with the great purpose of the will and the plans of the Lord, you want to get more for the Lord. You have been praying for things. You have been seeking for a great transformation in your life. But your life is not experiencing the transformation and you want the help of the Lord to show you the mercy. You have the need that has surrounded you. Nobody to help you get it. You have tried to get things right, but it's not working for you. Your life in the period is becoming messy and without honor or influence. You're so fed up with the situation of your life these are the drives that may bring you to the place of prayer and fasting. Some people may not want to fast and pray, but the things they're going through have compelled them to follow up on the situations of their life with fasting and praying. When you find yourself doing these things, you may begin to wonder if you're getting close to what the solutions to the problem of your life are. Sometimes the problem is not just the exercise, but the things you want to see. Is my sickness going already? Are these prayers and fasting exercises going to change my life as I am doing now? You begin to wonder if the result of the exercise has come or not. You have to know that there is no sincere prayer that is a waste. Whenever you pray, whenever you fast, something is happening to your life. Though you might not see them, you may not manifest instantly in the blessings or the breakthrough. But know this, that your prayers are giving you something that will take you up to a place of success and fulfillment of destiny. Now you have to know the powers of fasting and prayers. Things that happen to you when you fast and pray. When you fast and pray, your spiritual life is growing. One of the factors and exercises that help you to grow and build you into the capacity that the Lord wants you to reach. There is a place that the Lord wants you to be and the capacity of the mind, inexperience, character and other attitudes that will help you stand firm in the storm when they arouse against you. Feeding and drinking at your liberty gives you the pleasure of comfort that makes you live about the pressure of hunger. So when you do this often, your body gains more strength and you live stronger and healthier. But the goal of the Lord is to make you comfortable without the pleasures of the body. But your strength will come from the experience and the powers that have been deposited in your life through the prayer and the fasting of some season. You grow with the experience. 
You control and dictate what the desire of your body and your flesh and your growth will be sure in it. Sometimes you want to pray, but you find it difficult to do so. Sometimes the things you want to do are not the things you find yourself doing. The body is just in charge of your mind, communicating weakness and limitation in your mind. But if you subject yourself to consistent prayers and fasting, when you train yourself to live by the dictate of the moves of the spirit and not by the dictate of the flesh, relying on the body is very dangerous. Jesus said to his disciples while they went to pray and the disciples were sleeping, pray that you may not enter into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. The power of fasting and praying gives you access to the supernatural things. Man became a natural being after the fall of man in the garden. Now falling short from the glory that was on him when he was created. There are things that man cannot do or attempt to change with his natural power unless the power of the supernatural is involved. The devil began to inflict man with all sorts of diseases and the only way out is healing them by the power of God. Demons begin to possess people and the only way to make the possessed person free is by the power of the supernatural and the power comes from the Lord. The book of Psalms 62.11 once has the Lord spoken and twice have I had that all power belongs to God. One of the ways to get this power, to heal the sick and raise the dead, to cast out demons and other supernatural acts is by fasting and praying. The Lord wants to give you the power, but your flesh is still in control of things. God is waiting for you to conform to the things of the spirit because these acts are empowered by spirit. The power of fasting and praying will transform you from that natural man to a spiritual man. You no more do things with the power and by dictates and the understanding of the flesh, rather the spirit is now in charge of your heart. You access the power of the supernatural when you fast and pray always. It helps you to live above the influence of the comforts of the flesh. Mark 9.29 And he said to them, This kind goes not without fasting and prayer. There are issues you can settle just casually. And there are matters of life that you have to engage the power of fasting and prayers before you can do justice to them. You get the power of the supernatural to do supernatural acts from fasting and prayer. Fasting and prayer prepares you. You have been created to do great things and the destiny ahead of you is always greater than you are. That is the reason we always have to prepare ourselves. You have the challenges coming your way that you cannot handle without a stronger faith in God. One thing fasting and prayer does to your life is that it prepares you to be able to withstand the forces coming before you. Jesus after his baptism was taken to the wilderness where he fasted and prayed for 40 days and nights. And after that, Jesus was tempted by the devil. The fasting would have been said to have prepared him for the ministry ahead of him. The same thing applies to you. You're created with a great future and a destiny ahead of you. The world is waiting for you to come forth. Your generation is eagerly waiting for your manifestation in your field. In business, entertainment, sports, fashion, politics, and leadership, marriage, and education, even in the mass media. Wherever you find yourself, there is a reason the Lord has put you there. You have a purpose to accomplish for the kingdom of the Lord. 
So, that is the reason you have to fast and pray for these things. Your preparation is in the consistent exercise of your spiritual self to build capacity in what you want to be. The power of fasting and prayer builds you and prepares you for the task ahead of you. Helps you to live by the Spirit. Prayer is an ultimate life in the Spirit. There are preparations for everything you do. By the power of fasting and prayer, you can fasten your fellowship with the Spirit and the Lord. The relationship you have with the Lord is like candlelight that must keep lighting every day. You must always keep the fellowship. You need to keep the communion with the Spirit. God is always interested in relating with you. But you have to keep with the plans of the Lord to be with the Lord. Fasting and prayer are always keeping you in the presence of the Lord. This is not just a thing to show to the world. It is the relationship between you and the Lord. You don't need to get the attention of the people. This is a private relationship that does not need any interference from anything of the world. Some mysteries are hidden from people that have not given themselves to prayer and other spiritual activities. When you want God to reveal things to you, you give yourself to fasting and prayer. Fasting and prayer show that you're serious with your faith and this may prompt God to show some mysteries to you. John in the book of Revelations 1.10 I was in the Spirit on the day of the Lord and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet. He was in the Spirit which gave him access and opportunity to receive the revelation. Fasting and praying keeps you in touch in spiritual affairs and makes you eligible to receive and hear some things of the Spirit. Praying and fasting are not public activities. You must not distract others because you're taking some time to seek the Lord. You could seclude yourself from being distracted from the crowd. The power of fasting and prayer keeps you moving and builds your faith and opens you to possibilities. There are things you cannot do before. You have failed. Your attempt to get it done has been futile over time. You can engage the power of fasting and prayer to open you up to that realm of possibilities. It makes you see the solution and breaks the holds of impossibilities.